when you have those sows farrowing, you know, the first thing we're obviously concerned about when we think about day one pig care is colostrum, right? And, and you use the word colostrum curve, and some of our audience may not be familiar with what you're talking about. So could you talk a little bit more about what the colostrum curve really is to you? Yeah, so I'll, I'll take a hack at this um, uh, because, yeah, I'm not the expert on the the science, but I can tell you, um, you know, that that the the colostrum is the the antibodies, right, that are produced in the first, we'll say, 18 hours of 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 birth. So um, what it really comes down to for for us and and for me, being the simple person I am, is you know we manage that time frame around there so we know at birth it's in it's in increments of six birth six 12 and 18 you know from birth to six that colostrum is cut in half and by 12 hours we're at the teat um you know they've established teat order and by 18 we just draw the line there that's when um you know mother nature and our sop says you know that the colostrum is done so we're really on the clock there and we work um um, with a sense of urgency, but controlled urgency within that first zero to six hours to make sure pigs are warm, to make sure sows are comfortable. And our whole goal during that time frame, as simple as it sounds, is we want pigs on teats. And I think that's fundamental as we teach that it's we want pigs on teats. So everything we do from warming the pigs to um, our SOP and many others built around the 20 to 30 minute monitoring process is built around getting pigs on teats because then we get colostrum and then everything else makes our job easier once we get that pig on a teat. So um, our labor, our building, our records and our technology is built around making sure we do that job. 